interesting. We couldn't tell with your arms up here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> see, you Dude, see why don't you flash them know? guns Jeez. for everybody real quick? She's go back to the gym. Take them to the gun show and shit. Yeah, so she, you, you practice it as well. You're not just talking the talk. You're yeah. walking the walk over here. I, yeah, I do practice what I preach, but I don't, you know, I had to tell you with my second book, Beer is Good for You, it discusses the health benefits of moderate consumption of beer and alcohol, but I'm a terrible drinker in the sense that I barely drink. Mm, interesting. So what? that's so the thing, if, I know. Do you have some, uh, some thoughts for somebody who does drink perhaps an alarming amount of beer, but wants to watch the waistline? Like I, drink, I thought that was more of a terrible drinker, yeah. like you black out. Dude, yeah. I drink Coors Light now, because I always was like a yingling guy, and of, of course Guinness and stuff. I can't, like, I'm always thirsty. And I even got checked out about this at a doctor, and I'm like, do I have like diabetes, diabetes or something? Yeah. And they're like, yeah. no, you're, I'm like, so I'm just a thirsty boy. And she's like, you're just a thirsty boy. And you're I was like, okay, for so, light? I guess. Okay. So all I, it's all I could weird. do is drink <laughs> though. And I just drink it, and, but and they're like a hundred calories each. So I don't think mm. they're that bad, but yeah. like, okay. So what do you think? You, you said moderate consumption. What yeah. does that mean to you? Cause I might have some different thoughts on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's funny. Cause when I, you know, every time I do comedy shows or beer seminars, uh, yeah, well, usually comedy shows, when I mention the word moderate, everybody wants to know what that means. Yeah. But in research is what we have to go by. So We got to get Anna a drink, by the way. Sorry. What do you no, want no, to drink? No, no, I can't. I can't. Water? I uh, yeah. No, yeah, I have water. I'm okay. okay. Thank you. You All guys right, are sorry. good. Are you in season? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm a lightweight. I got to drive. and I. That's the thing. I'm going to do an open mic. I've, I don't do comedy drunk. I don't do these kinds of things drinking because then I'll... Maybe start talking sh shit about like an ex-girlfriend. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we want. Anna. I know, I know. I do it anyway sober. I'm more dangerous sober. So What's I her name? It. Fucker. What's her name? <laughs> There's like 500. What do you mean? Damn. Okay, Big so. time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So in research is what you got to look at. In the U.S., which isn't as fun, moderate is defined as up to one drink for women and for men up to two drinks. In an hour? I was yeah, going to exactly. say. Thank you. I like that. I like 30, 30 minutes? I like your research philosophy right, better. Come on. That's in a day. No. And in British research, for women, it's up to 1.5 drinks a day. And for men, you're looking at upwards of two to three. And in other studies I've seen, because the majority of beer research <laughs> comes from Czech Republic, Italy, Spain, some from Germany, but mostly in the first three that I mentioned. The U.S. isn't so big, and I guess it's because of the ethics. You know, they have to worry about how they're going to get home. In Europe, they're like, fuck off. You figure it out yeah. after, you know? <laughs> Spain, Spaniards love researching beer. A lot of literature comes from Spain. But their, their definitions can be uppers for women, one to two drinks a day, and for men, three to four. But again, it all depends on what health benefit they're finding in that study. But typically, moderate is defined as the lower end. Okay. The sad, the sad lower end. Dude, I am. I, I, you know what I think of sometimes, and it helps me sleep at night, is that old man from Grumpier Old Man. And he's like, I drink beer and eat bacon all day. And he's like 100 years old. And obviously, that is not going to happen to me. But I like to think that it's a possibility. <laughs>